In this session, we're going to look at how we can use property set data to add custom attributes to any object in a civil 3D drawing. Now, there are many places where extended attribution comes in handy. Just for a second, let's talk about utilities. Maybe I'm working on a project that spans several miles, and I'm in the process of modeling the existing underground utilities. Depending on the utilities, I may model them using several different types of objects. I may use a pressure network, I may use pipe networks, I may model some of the utilities using extruded solids. The goal is for each utility to be positioned as accurately as possible. Using survey data is best, but if your project is several miles long, it can take weeks to get all that information. So, in the early design phases of a project, some of the existing utilities may be modeled using GIS data. Some may be modeled from paper maps. Others may just be an educated guess. The challenge is that once you create the utility model, how do you remember which components have a survey grade location and which ones are a rough approximation? This is where property set data comes in. Using property set data, I can tag any element in my Civil 3D drawing with any extended attribution that I want. In this example, I'm going to create an attribute to maintain the quality of a utility component's location. To create the attributes, I'm going to create a property set. I'll do that by typing property data. This is an undocumented command in Civil 3D. Let me mention that I'm using Civil 3D 2016. This will also work in 2015. It will probably work with earlier versions of Civil 3D. Once I launch the command, I'll choose the sets option. This brings up a dialog box where I can build my property set definition. A Property set is a lot like a table. To create the definition, I'm going to right click on property set definitions and I'll choose new. I will then give this table a name. I'm going to call it custom data and I'll press enter. Once the data table is made, I can use these tabs to the right to format the table. I'm going to start with the general tab. Here's where I can give the table a name and a description. Let's go to definition. Here's where we can create attributes. To create an attribute, I'm going to use this button in the upper right corner. For attribute name, I'm going to call this sue value. Let me click OK. I will then give this attribute a description. We'll click the ellipsis button and I'll say represents the quality of the utility location ranging from A to D. And I'll click OK. I can then declare the attribute type. Let me open the menu. Text is fine. Notice some of the other options that we have available. Let's assign a default value. For right now, I'm going to assign the lowest quality. I can always change it after I assign it to my objects, and I'll press Enter. As long as we're here, let's create another attribute. You can create as many as you like. Let me come back and I'll click the Add button. We'll call this one Owner. Notice that when you create a new attribute, you can base it on a prior attribute's settings. Let's do that. I'll base this one on the Sue value, and I'll click OK. You can see how they're identical. For description, we'll change this to Utility Owner. I'll click OK. Text is fine in this case as well. For default, I'm just going to type the word owner and I'll press enter. Now that I've created my table and my attributes, I'll go to the Applies To tab. This is where I can designate the object types that can maintain this data. As I drag the slider left and right, you can see this is a comprehensive list of every object that can exist in a civil 3D drawing. Now I could go through and pick the individual object like pressure network and pipe network, solid, things like that. In this case, I'm just going to choose select all. I want to be able to assign these properties to any object in the drawing. When finished, I'll come down and click OK. I will then press escape to get out of the property data command. This is the type of data that you would add to your template file so that as you create your utilities, you could then assign these attributes. For example, let's assign some attributes to this fiber optic line. This is a solid. I'm going to select the object. I'll come over to the Properties palette, and then I'll choose the Extended Data tab. I will then come down to the lower left corner and click the Add Property Sets button. In the dialog box, I'll see a listing of all of the property sets associated with the selected object type. Custom data is perfect. Let me choose OK. And if I go back to the Properties palette, we can see that extended attribution. If I want, I can change this now. We'll say this has a SU value of A. It was based on survey grade data. And for the owner, we'll make this AT&T. When finished, I'll press Escape. Now, could I assign that data to all of these objects? Yes, let me back up. I will select all of them. Let's go over to the Properties palette. I'll choose the Extended Data tab, and then I'll click the Add Property Sets button, and I'll click OK. Now, did that affect my fiber optic line? No. If I select this, go to Properties, you can see that is still maintaining the attribution I gave it. Let me press Escape. That being said, all of these other objects now have the default attribution. Once again, I'll press Escape to deselect. Now that we've seen the basics of this workflow, let's open a slightly larger drawing. I'll come up and choose Open. I'll select this drawing called Sample Utils, and I'll click Open. Let's hide this surface. In the Layers panel, I'll click the Freeze Layer button, and then I'll select the surface. 
and I'll press escape. Let me zoom in and we'll orbit this around. You can see I have a fair amount of utilities in this file. I'm going to select one of these structures as an example. Let's go over to the properties palette, extended data, and you can see the information that's been added. All of the utilities in this drawing carry the extended attribution. Now this is nice because this data will follow along with the drawing. For example, I'm going to jump over to Navisworks. Here's that same drawing. Let's hide the surface. I'm going to select it and I'll choose hide. I will then select one of these structures and I'll press page down to zoom in on that object. Let's come up to the display panel and I'll click the properties button. In the properties palette, we can see these tabs that contain all of the attribution associated with this object. Notice there's a tab called custom data, same name as I used for my property set. On this tab, we'll find my custom attribution. And that will work for any of the objects in this drawing. Let me select the gas main. We can see the data right here. Just for a second, I'm going to close the properties palette and then we'll open the zoom menu and I'll choose zoom all. Let's center this drawing on screen. Now that we have this attribution on our utilities, let's see if we can find all of the utilities that have a SU value of A. On the Home tab in the Select and Search panel, I'll click Find Items. On the left side of the Find Items dialog box, we'll find all of the property categories. I'm going to open Custom Data. I'll open SU Value. I'll select A. I'll right click and choose Select. Once those objects are selected, let's make them stand out. I'm going to go to the Item Tools tab and then I'll change the color property to red. I will then close Find Items. I will then press Page Down to zoom in on that area. And as I orbit this, we can see these red utilities are ones where we have a high degree of confidence in their location because it was based on survey. Once again, we'll zoom out and we'll center this on screen. I'm going to put things back the way they were. I'll choose Select All. I'll right click and in the menu, I'll choose Reset All Appearances. And then I'll click on Screen to deselect. Let's look at one more way we can leverage this data. Maybe I'm only interested in the gas main. I'd like to find the areas of the underground gas main that have a low SU value. Once again, I'll come up and choose Find Items. I am interested in the Custom Data category. Here on the right, I will select the Custom Data category. For Property, I'll choose Owner, Condition, Equals, Value, NICOR. In addition to Name, I'll choose Custom Data, Property, SU Value, Equals, D. When finished, I'll come down and choose Find All. Let's close the Find Items dialog box. We'll go to Item Tools and we'll change the color to red. And then we'll orbit the drawing. So with respect to the gas main, if I was doing design work in this area, I would definitely want to get a better location on that utility. As you can see, using property set data, we can easily add extended attribution to any of the objects in a civil 3D drawing. This allows a model to carry additional metadata that can be leveraged by other applications as a project moves through the design and construction phases. Would you like to explore other Autodesk infrastructure ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the Civil Immersion blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.